Hello and welcome back. Um, today's video about my tools is about screwdrivers. Um, there is the saying that the right tool can make child's play out of a man's job and it's true. And screwdrivers are a big part of that uh, because there are screwdrivers for every single thing that you want to do and those screwdrivers may be different for each job that you want to do and um, believe it or not I don't have that many screwdrivers uh, I've got two sets I have one set which usually lives out in the garage uh, for use with the motorcycles and cars and and whatnot and I have a second set uh, for use uh, when I take about take apart electric devices and First of all, the garage stuff is dirty and the electronic stuff is not. Also, the electronic stuff doesn't get used that often because um, there's just such a large amount of uh, different screws that you have in um, computers, laptops, whatnot. And a lot of them are different. So, for example, this here is a Torx screwdriver. This here is a T6. I have each and every one up to um, Torx 30, which is the largest one of these. So that is basically one line of screwdrivers that I have. I have uh, screwdrivers that have isolation. Um, insulation up to the tip um, which is very important when you work on electric devices like televisions um, old style CRT televisions uh, this was a lot more important or if you're working on uh, mains electrics you want to have insulation so you don't fry anything and you don't get uh, hurt because quite often when you're screwing something you tend to hold on to the shaft of the screwdriver. Also I have uh, hex wrenches and I have them either in the T form when you have to put some torque on these and I use them a lot for assembling uh, 3D printers and stuff or I have them in the screwdriver form when they are really, really small. And I have one um, between uh, 0 0.7 millimeters to about 8 millimeters. So I have uh, one for each of these. I do have the big screwdrivers for leverage or chiseling or sometimes you can use them as a hammer and um, apart from that I have tons of these I have tons of these uh, bits uh, this year is one bit set uh, which I think came from Weha and uh, this has the big advantage that you can buy each and every one of these once it's broken and you can just buy the same one um, all over again. That is why I like these so much. And uh, to use them I just have one of these short screwdrivers. Also have a slightly bigger one. But quite often I just use the small one. And I like this one because it has a ratchet function in uh, open and close direction. And you can lock it. So now it's locked. And now it ratchets. Um, I think that's a really useful function. And um, these small screwdrivers, in Germany we call them Stummel. Uh, I really like them. And um, well, if I need another one, I also have a slightly longer one, or you can just use an extension to this one. But they're also really, really useful. Um, yeah, and for smaller stuff like uh, phones, laptop computers, I have the same thing. And small and uh, these are just I just get them from I don't know Amazon eBay when they're on sale I just I just get one um, then I use it up until most of the tips are broken 
and after that I just buy a new one um, and they're not really expensive and if it comes to opening a lot of uh, screws I have one of these electric screwdrivers this here's the Black & Decker uh, it has the the motorized function or you can just lock it and use the the whole device as one big screwdriver which is nice because uh, you can really get a good grip on this one and um, yeah you can you can get stuff opened and it doesn't actually mind if you have a screw that is slightly uh, locked or, or bogged up uh, you can give this thing a whack with a hammer and um, it shows on the plastic but the device itself doesn't seem to mind and uh, that's a positive and last but not least I have one of these here um, this here is a Xiaomi Wow stick um, this here is my third one of these I suppose I got this one as a review sample um, I don't know they kind of I think they improved the looks of it this looks a lot better than my old ones and I'm gonna do a review on those because this is uh, I, I don't know tools are like religion you have to choose your tools and you have to stick to them <laughs> and uh, they if you go through the packaging of one of these wow sticks it, it really shows that they they went all the way with this it's it's kind of it, to part it's really hilarious but um, they went through a lot of effort in making um, opening your tool a real experience and I like that a lot so I'm gonna go through the packaging of these um, in one of the next episodes on my channel um, but they work really well um, I like the fact that they do have the light uh, which is really bright what I don't like is that they only have one speed uh, because I would really like to have one where I have a low speed when I just want to go on a device stick it on and just I want it to break loose very very carefully and maybe if you if you stay on on, on the button it should accelerate but I think it should start off with uh, with um, a lot less movement and maybe more torque I'm I'm not 100% certain of that the good thing about these is um, if you're not pressing the the uh, the button to move them they're actually locked so you can break uh, the screw free um, using your hand and then just use the um, the electric screwdriver to get it out um, yeah, and this is it's like a lot of modern electronics. Uh, you take a mainboard out from a laptop computer and it's like 35 screws uh, because um, the the PCB is part of, uh, of the load bearing structure of the laptop computer and they just make sure that they screw it down as often as they can. And um, that's a good thing, but this makes one of these tools even more valuable and I really like them and for what screwdrivers are this is basically my loadout um, I have a lot of them I don't buy that many of them I do buy a lot of bits uh, but some things just come with one of those uh, cheap Phillips um, screwdrivers and I just use them um, until they've had it and, and then they get thrown out um, and then I will either get another one or I will take a look in the boxes if I can find another one that was in there I have very little uh, specialized screwdrivers apart from from the ones where you actually need the sizes like the Torx um, where it does make sense to buy a good set uh, or or the the small hex wrenches where it is so um, where it's important to just have good ones and to have every size and uh, in my case I have most I have almost every size in metric and I have select sizes in uh, in Imperial uh, just because you need them so often like I don't know like 1 8 332s um, 764 uh, 
quite often you'll get something and you just need that size so it does make sense to purchase one of these yeah that's it for screwdrivers uh thanks for watching and bye bye